he has to pay a little bit. I mean, he lived a long, fruitful life. New at 11, almost six decades of questions finally answered for a Stark County family. Frank Freshwater escaped from prison in Ohio back in 1959. Yesterday, he was picked up in Florida. The son of the man Freshwater's killed back in the 50s spoke with News Channel 5's Home of Bash tonight. Richard Flint grew up without his dad because of a deadly car accident caused by Frank Freshwaters. And this latest twist in the case, he says, is opening up a lot of old wounds. Richard Flint was just three years old when his dad, Eugene, was hit and killed walking across a busy Akron Street in 1957, buried with this flag on his casket. Too young. He's had to live with the fact that his father's killer escaped from prison and disappeared 56 years ago until this week. I never thought I'd hear anything from it, but I was wrong. Flint says he and his family put the tragedy behind them and tried to move forward. Now he's most upset that Frank Freshwaters was recaptured once in 1975 in West Virginia. But authorities decided not to extradite him. I have no idea why they would have him and then turn him loose <clears throat> and let him run free for X number of years, and it was a lot of years. So while this photo of Eugene Flint dressed in his Army uniform might be faded, Richard's pain and memories aren't. And he says even though Freshwaters is now 79 years old, he still wants some justice. He lives a long, fruitful life, even though he's looking over his shoulder, but he deserves to have some payback. Maybe not real major, but he deserves to pay. Richards also told me that he just found out that part of the probation deal was that Fresh Waters was supposed to pay his mom to take care of the three kids left fatherless. But since he broke his probation, he doesn't believe that ever happened. Fresh Waters is expected to be uh, extradited back to Ohio very soon. Danita?